Hey guys, first of all, I just wanted to say Happy New Year to you guys, and I just wanted to come on to uh, give you guys some updates on my bike and uh, some things I've been doing there, and some uh, other things I've been uh, seeing what the company is doing um, as far as uh, pricing goes and, you know, things of that nature, and also... Um, if you're not on their email list, they did do a giveaway, which uh, that person was contacted directly by them, and uh, I have no clue who it was. But anyway, it was a $500 uh, Visa gift card towards the purchase of a new Pebble, which was a part of one of their holiday promotions, which was a really cool thing um, for them to do. Um and I don't know if they're going to be doing another one or not. Um, you know, I do subscribe to their email list. And I do see, like, all the ads and everything they put out and all that stuff. Um, and uh, anyway, as far as pricing goes, they did raise the price on... Some of the ones, plus they're putting out new features and add-ons. And if you go on their website and you go on there and look, and you'll see that when you click the Buy Now button or the Learn More button, you can see kind of what's all uh, in some of the packages that you can order with your new Pebble. The... Some of the features that they've put on was like a uh, enclosure package, and also the heater is still an option as well. And the heat cost of the heater, I yeah, the cost of the heater I don't believe has gone up, but the overall price of the bike has gone up at least two thousand to twenty five hundred dollars. Um, I think now it's like 13 something close to that and then when I got mine it was like 116 ish in there which uh included my shipping was like $500 you know for uh haul bikes to ship it and I believe they are still using haul bikes um for their shipping uh even though after they're completed in Europe, they'll still ship them on a semi-truck with the uh, haul bikes who uh, primarily ships uh, motorcycles and uh, recreational vehicles. So, um, I also did put a off-on switch onto my bike. I have a cycle analyst installed, and a lot of you guys have seen that in some of my other videos and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys now the uh, process on how I installed the uh, switch. I actually went out and took some pictures of it. It's uh, really cold outside to actually go out and film. Um, it's like 25 degrees and today it barely got above freezing so you know I can see you know kind of why um i really don't like uh working out in the cold but anyway the pictures turned out pretty good so anyway here we go so here's the switch installed and as you can see i kind of put it on the uh, chloroplast there that chloroplast is actually a removable piece and its job is actually to help support the wooden dashboard on the bike and there's a little uh, ball right there you can see directly on top of the switch and uh, once you loosen that I took the piece off and I lined up my screw holes or lined up the bolt the 
bolts onto the chloroplast and then uh, drug my holes uh, accordingly. So it was pretty easy to install that way. The only other thing though is the wiring was exposed and I'm using uh, 8 gauge wire. Um, just some uh, copper wire with uh, cell cone that uh, I purchased on Amazon and the actual switch I uh, purchased on eBay. Um, though I probably could have got on Amazon. But uh, anyway, the switch was the right voltage and it's a 48 volt switch rated at 200 amps. So it works out, you know, perfect for the bike. So here's the connectors. Um, as you can see there, there's uh, two different ones. The uh, darker grayer ones are the old ones and the lighter gray ones are the new ones. And I just uh, unplugged them and I got, and again, I got 600 volt connectors. Um, to go inside with the 600 or the uh, 48 volt uh, electrical system on the bike and just uh, crimp the connectors, cut my wiring um, accordingly to where my uh, switch was located, the right amount of wire, and I made my new wire harness with the um, new connectors that I had purchased uh, which I also got those on Amazon as well so and once I got the wiring done and that it was uh, essentially just plug and play and mounting the switch onto that panel on the dashboard and then running my wires you know behind that right panel on the side there and then underneath it and then putting the velcro over it so there's that and then here's the reason why i got the switch these are wago 20 amp uh residential uh connectors actually I, yeah residential whatever i guess you can use um for any application that's you know no more than 20 amps and the thing is i went on my cycle analyst and the controller said its maximum load was 33 amps but when i had these installed i checked on my cycle analyst and it said it wasn't putting out anything more than 18 so when i got these you know i just threw threw them on and uh it was uh no brainer um the only thing is though i can't uh disconnect these and i would have to either leave the cycle analyst on all the time or go down underneath the seat and disconnect the batteries from there which obviously was you know is a pain in the butt when it's cold so, and there again, you can see the switch, uh, what I was talking about with the Velcro and that, and uh, hiding the wires, which when I did get in and out, my feet would catch on the wires, so I just went ahead and put the Velcro on. So, there's that, and... A nutshell and uh, so far with the switch it has been working great and also I did get some uh, little zipper poles to put on my doors so I can reach up with my gloves and um, pull the uh, zippers down you know when it gets cold outside because you know when it's cold it gets cold right you know taking off your gloves and then opening the doors up you get your hands exposed to the cold and all that stuff and i'm like yeah i don't want to do that anymore so i got the zipper things and those have been working out 
really well. The only thing is, though, when it's windy, it does tend to blow the the fabric doors um, side to side. And you have to watch it because when the doors are blown like this, the uh, zipper's not going to catch along here. It's going to go to the place where it's off-centered and then stop and you won't be able to close the door and then you have to get in there and actually hold the door in place and then zip the thing up which uh that i'm still trying to find another solution for maybe if somebody has had experience with that or something you know let me know that'd be great um so yeah um other than that, not much else happening. Um, although, there are some wheels that I did purchase off, uh, or not wheels, but uh, bike tires that uh, I got off of Bike Tires Direct that uh, were actually dirt bike tires and... I was cruising around and I got to a big old um, snow hump, which I call them snow humps. And, uh, you know, when uh, wh whoever plows uh, like a entrance to a parking lot and the snow gets over the side paths and then you have to go over it and, uh, you know, that's my hump. Well, sometimes though when the city does the paths first and then the people who come in and do the parking lots you know there can be a big pile of snow there so i was running to work one day and probably a day or two after it snowed which uh before and i got uh when it uh, started snowing the I usually don't like to ride when it's, you know, like in a super heavy snowstorm. Part of it's uh, the visibility on the paths plus, uh, you know, it's slippery out. And then it's, um, you know, sometimes hard to keep it under control. But... Though with these tires, it does perform better with the uh, mountain bike tires I've got on, on them. Which, uh, when I got that snow hump, the bike did get stuck a little bit as I started going forward. But then I put it in reverse and then moved it forward. And then I put it back in reverse again. And I got out of it. And it, it was awesome. And... Uh, I haven't had any problems with uh, getting stuck, you know, since then. And the tires have been really, really nice. Which, uh, I'll put a link for the mountain bike tires in the bottom. So you guys can check those out. Uh, what I was using, I didn't have time to prep them and show a picture of them on here. So, anyway... There's that, and let's see, I did get pulled over one night this month uh, coming home, and the officer, you know, he didn't know what I was riding, and my cousin's a lieutenant here in town, and I guess he didn't tell everybody um, which I thought he did. I mean, I have friends who are officers in town and family as well. So there's a handful of them who know me and know what my bike is. So a lot of them, you know, see me during the day, you know, like on a regular basis. And I wave at them, you know, as I'm going by and you know, whatever, um, and, you know, they don't bother me, because they know who I am, but this one, 
didn't. It was late at night, probably around nine o'clock or so, and he pulled me over and asked me what it was. I told him it was an electric bike, and he. I showed him the pedals and told him what the specs on the motor was and how it fell into our state codes for e-bikes, which is also one thing. When you do buy one of these is to make sure with your uh, local state laws that uh, it is legal in your state, which I know a lot of the states are starting to change some of their laws um, to legalize e-bikes, which I know Illinois was one of the later ones to come on board with the e-bikes and legalizing them for road use and considering them as a part of their state's bicycle definition so there's that and anyway he checked out my taillights my turn signals which I guess in my state, if you're riding a vehicle like mine, that it has to be equipped with turn signals and a taillight. Um, if you can't put your arm out and do the uh, turn signal by hand thing. Um, well, I mean, you probably can, but I mean, honestly, I'm not really sure. I'm guessing because when... He looked at it and it worked. He said I was good to go. So, and that was actually the first time I've gotten pulled over on the bike. And I'm sure there's probably going to be others. And, uh, you know, it it is what it is. So, anyway, there's my New Year's update. And again, Happy New Year, everybody, and we'll see you guys on the next video.